this is Darwin, Charles Darwin, and he was the one who first came up with the principle of how life develops. The Evolution Evolution is a fascinating process. Over billions of years and through endless rounds of mutation and selection, millions of solutions to perfectly adapt to environmental obstacles were created. But as it takes lots of generations for new characteristics to arise, usually it's a slow process. So we, as the iGEM team Heidelberg, decided to speed it up. We are accelerating evolution. And we are going even further. Besides accelerating evolution, we also tell it which problem to solve, or in other words, which way to go to reach a certain goal. So, actually, we are directing evolution. But why do we need directed evolution? Evolution is a machine for innovation. By speeding it up and directing the evolutionary process, we can use this machine to improve proteins that are relevant for environmental protection, drug development, industry, energy supply and food production. Harnessing this immense power of evolution is highly promising. So let me give you an example what to use directed evolution for. Carbon silicons. Carbon silicons are of great interest because they offer a whole range of applications. For instance, they can be used for electrodes in batteries or in agriculture. Most important, as a carbon isosteer, silicon can be used to design new trucks that are less toxic, easier to ingest and more stable. Normally, carbon silicon is made by sophisticated and energy-intensive chemistry. Imagine if it could instead be made by enzymes in an environmental-friendly way. Unfortunately, in nature one did not find enzymes yet that are catalyzing this reaction efficiently. Some, as cytochrome C, show low-level activity, but are too inefficient for use in industrial production. The solution to this problem is using directed evolution to get a mutated protein that is able to catalyze carbon-silicon formation efficiently. Now, you are probably wondering how we are directing evolution of certain proteins. In general, if one wants to direct evolution, the most important thing is to link a protein characteristic to selection pressure. To make the selection fast, we need a high mutation rate and rapid reproduction. Based on that background, we start directed evolution by taking our protein, or more precisely its related gene, and putting it into fast reproducing bacterial phages. By allowing the phages to infect modified E. coli cells, we cause massive mutation. As a result, different variants of our gene of interest develop. Next, we are using synthetic gene circuits to specifically select for variants with a desired protein function. At the end, only the most efficient variants of the gene stay, can be isolated and then used for instance to synthesize carbon silicon bonds. You see, clever combination of fast phage propagation mutation and selection can be used to create proteins with improved or even entirely new features. For more details, check out our second video. What you must know is that for protein improvement by directed evolution, you need at least a low starting activity. But what if there is no starting activity at all? To solve this problem, we created AIGEM, our software package for evolution mimicking based on deep neural networks. All you need to do is to import your protein sequence. In the first step, use our classifier called the protein to find out whether your protein contains some starting activity or even unknown sleeping features that could be activated by directed evolution. Second, transfer your sequence into Gaia, our genetic algorithm-based software that mutates the protein sequence to get a new variant of the protein. Now, the cycle closes as this slightly new sequence is again transferred into the protein and checked for helpful mutations that boost activity levels. As this cycle repeats over and over again, 
This process is indeed what you could call fast forward in silico evolution. But as of today evolution still runs best in vivo, this computer-based evolution cycle is repeated until you get a potent starting variant for your in vivo evolution experiment. But how can you be sure? Your protein to be evolved does not transform into something dangerous. To tackle this problem, we designed a third software, the safety net. It checks whether your protein can be evolved safely without harming you, your colleagues and the environment in general. And our safety net is special, as the best is that you can access it directly on our wiki to check your protein without any software installation. After you learned about our trilab approach, let's see how evolution runs in wetlab. There are two ways to perform this kind of directed evolution. Current state-of-the-art is a method called PACE. It requires bioreactors which are not easily accessible to everyone. For you, the iGEM community and researchers all over the world, we expanded this method into a cheap and easy to use batch mode system named Pretzel. In comparison to PACE, Pretzel offers new possibilities for switching conditions while evolving. To optimize conditions while doing Pretzel and PACE, we did some modeling you can check and even use on our modeling page. For more information, again, keep our second video in mind. Using Pretzel and PACE, we did not only try to achieve catalysis of carbon-silicon formation, but besides that, to change enzyme activities, to use optogenetic regulation for controlling selection pressure, to diversify DNA editing, and even to alter protein-protein interactions. What we did is creating a whole evolutionary toolbox. But we are not finished yet. Our solution? Start evolution. For simple, standardized directed evolution in your lab, we designed a toolbox guide with all our provided biobricks and corresponding RC for you to easily start your individual directed evolution project. Just get a plasmid for your phage and easily insert the gene of the protein you want to evolve by using Golden Gate cloning. To make evolution work, you need two more plasmids for E. coli. One of them is ready to use, as the other can be built together after your needs. With our interactive toolbox guide, you can select between different origins of replication, promoters and obvious strength. Further, you can attach a reporter protein for easy readout. Our toolbox enables scientists in universities and companies all over the world to harness the full power of evolution and find clever solutions for hundreds of problems to make this a better world. We're looking forward seeing you in Boston. Your item team, Heidelberg.